Hello guys, welcome to Sigma Tech Tricks. As you know, I was not making videos from few days because I was not well. Still, you can guess it from my voice. So anyway, uh, we are making the video now, and this video is on MacBook Air repair. Uh, uh, this is the laptop which we already opened it. Uh, it's Airbook. Uh, the model number is A1466. Uh, we already opened the board. Mm, this is the board. This is the board which we already opened it. Uh, the problem was sound was not coming. We tried installing OS. Uh, we tried cleaning the board. And uh, we did whatever was necessary. But still we did not find the solution. Then we had to open it and we have to uh, repair it. It was a chip level issue. Okay, so I'll show you what was the problem and where was the problem. How did we solve it? So let's go to the microscope. Usually, if you see it, there are two connectors on the board. On physical inspection, we did not find any corrosion or anything on the main board. It has a two parts on this board. One is this, where the DC jack is there and the power goes from this to the main board. Okay. So here also we have one connector as you can see. So here we have one speaker connection and a headphone jack and the controller also is in the same board. Okay. We can't see it properly here. So let's, you can see on the microscope. Okay, here you can see this is the speaker connection connector and this is the IC which is giving the supply. As I told you the problem was uh, when we power on the laptop there was no sound. So on the inspection we found that here no voltage was present neither signal was present. So basically this signal and voltage comes from this area in this daughter board okay here is the control controller i guess you can see it and uh, while checking we found that this resistor was broken which we have replaced it we properly fixed it and soldered it but that doesn't give any result so we have to find out other way then upon checking on the schematic we found that these connections are traveling from this connector to the main board which is on the secondary board here in this one. So there has to be these two connections should match properly all the signals and voltages should travel from this connection to that connection that connector from this connector to that connector okay now let's power on the board and see what are the voltages and signals were missing when we were diagnosing first time okay we have uh, assembled uh, we have connected all the parts now we will connect the speaker here one of the speaker which I removed it ok so the speaker has been connected ok now uh, it turns on 14.8 volts so now let's plug the power so we have plugged the power and the laptop has been turned on ok but you don't hear any sound as you can see the ampere is reading you can see it's reading the BIOS and now probably the laptop is on Okay, it's on now. 
but there is no sound on the speaker okay usually as soon as the laptop gets on you will hear a uh, speaker sound okay so here i would like to tell you it is because of this cable the signal and voltage is not traveling from this point to this point that is why the sound is not coming on this speaker okay so on our inspection we find that one of the signal was not coming from this place to this place on the schematic i would like to show you where was the problem so here we have a schematic for this laptop and here we have a board view so here i will tell you where was the problem first we will go to the board view and this is that connector and the problem was this this line 29 this is j9500 here on the schematic we'll find it we'll find out so here is the j9500 and here is the connection this 29 this signal was not coming from this cable okay there is another signal which is coming from the daughter board that is audio power enable if this signal also doesn't come this audio will not work okay so when we rectify this issue the problem was solved now i can show you by connecting the cable how we will get the sound oh, let's connect the cable now so we have connected the cable now let's power on the laptop okay the power is on now so let's see if any sound comes on the speaker so as you can hear guys the sound has come so this was the problem in this laptop which we have rectified it now now let's pack it and see it how it works so guys we have uh, packed it now let's on the laptop and see what is the result as you can hear the sound that means the sound has come and the laptop is ready okay guys so if you find the video informative please like the video and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a nice day